Joining us on Valley News Live and what an icy start to our day. You know, last night we had some of that freezing mist and drizzle in the FM area and the roads today just very icy and the temperatures have continued their trek downward throughout the day. Right now out at Hector, our numbers are four degrees holding above zero. It's three at your airport in Moorhead. Wind from the north northwest is blowing at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Region wide, our winds aren't horribly strong, but a few areas still at times getting gusts over 20 miles per hour from the Southern Valley and points east out along the I-94 corridor at this time. Now, road conditions improving, but they are still icy, so take it slow. Give yourself extra time. Here is the zero degree line. It's nudging its way back in from the north, so it will not take long for temperatures to succumb to those sub-zero. Readings. The warmest weather, western portions of the Dakotas, where we have mid 20s for Hedinger and in Dickinson. But most of us are just holding on to readings barely above zero. Factor in the wind, and we have wind chills between 10 and 20 degrees below. And as you've seen crawling across the bottom of your screen, we have that wind chill advisory that is in place as we go through the overnight for some dangerous wind chills. Clear skies right now. We do have a band of clouds out in the western Dakotas and eastern Montana along a boundary. And that boundary is the cold air that's over us right now off to the left there. That's much milder air. So on that boundary, we're seeing a few snow showers riding across and that boundary is going to shift overnight. Let's show you how that happens and what you can expect as we go through the evening tonight. It won't take long with the setting sun for temperatures to dive down into the 10 to 15 below category. And at the 10 o'clock hour, we're going to have some wind chills that'll be close to the 30 below category. So bundle up out there. It's going to be chilly in the early overnight and through midnight. So it's going to be coldest early tonight. Now look what's coming at us from the upper left hand side of the screen as we stop things here at an untypical time about four in the morning. We could have some spotty flurries of snow or snow showers passing through. Temperatures will be warming from the teens below at midnight to single digits below. And as we go towards daybreak, we're going to be heading towards zero degrees with a flurry here or there. Can't rule out some patchy fog, but indeed a cold start to the day, a wind chilly start to the day. Now, as we notice that warming trend taking hold right towards morning, that trend continues. Midday temperatures ramping up into the teens west and eventually near 10 degrees out in lakes country as well. The clouds will be a little big, uh, excuse me, a big part of our day. And then as we close out the day, we could see a spotty flurry and some low clouds making their way in as that warm boundary shifts right into our kitchen. Temperatures of the 20s in the central Dakotas and the single digits off to the east for tomorrow night. That warming trend, though, does carry us into your weekend. More on that momentarily. Right now, Fargo at a glance, a six below to start your day. Ramp it up to 13 degrees. The wind is not going to be too much of a factor. The clouds will. And again, I cannot rule out a spotty flurry of snow here or there. I do not think we'll have significant accumulation. Take a look at these roads. This is the Sharon, North Dakota area. Thank you so much, Christina, for uploading this. It was slide and glide this morning. Slow it down. We still have areas, intersections, and even sidewalks and decks that are on the side of slippery. Check this out. So Friday, we have a high of 14 and steady temperatures overnight. Then we're warming it up to near 30 degrees to start the weekend. It will be a breezy day, though, with gusts from the south. Sunday, we drop things back down to average for this time of the year. Monday, another warm up as we enjoy a little bit of a roller coaster. There'll be a chance of some snow moving through as the next punch of cold air comes in as Arctic air looks to be making its way in. So here's your weekend Saturday. There's that freezing line and it makes its way back at us again as we go into Monday and then look out. Here comes some Arctic air that by the middle to the latter portion of next week could have us back in those teens and 20s below zero. We'll keep you posted right here on Valley News Live, of course. Well, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> we have to enjoy the next few days. Exactly. Yeah. At least we got we're getting a couple good ones in there. Right. It's almost February. Maybe there's a light. June is coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> way down in the tunnel. <laughs> exactly. Right. Thanks, Hutch. You bet. Hey, well, we might keep these first alert weather days at bay over the weekend. It's a great idea to keep that VNL weather app handy for forecast right at your fingertips. You can download and use it for free. All you have to do is search VNL weather in your app store today. Bud Light says they 